Okay, what is good, YouTube? It's Giante here, back with a new video. And you boys have been going crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean crazy. I think last time I checked in with y'all on the last YouTube video, we was at 25,000 on Instagram. And now, less than a week later, we had 35,000. So I am beyond proud of the collective. We are going crazy and we are going up and nobody is stopping us. Now, with that being said, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that right now. We also just hit 500K on Instagram on our main account. That is absolutely insane. So I appreciate y'all for that as well. Now, let's get into this video. You want to know if your IG is cooked. I've been having y'all DM me to help y'all with y'all IG. So why not just make it a full video? And as always, I got my notes right here. So let me get y'all right. We gonna start with the profile picture. What is your profile picture right now? Go to your gram, open your phone, talk to you. Open your phone, go to your gram right now. What's your profile picture? If it is a black screen, if it is a anime picture, if it is a white background, green background, I don't care what color. If it's a picture of a celebrity or your car, you need to change that right now. Because I be trying to tell y'all, you have to make a girl want to click on your page. Like, let's say you go to like two pictures on her Instagram. Or you meet her in person and you, you know, you put your Instagram in. She's going to go to your Instagram and look. She's going to like, black profile picture. Yeah, I'm anime. Yeah, I'm good. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got to make your page seem inviting. Second is your bio. Don't have a bio with hella unnecessary facts. Like, for example, the other day, I helped a kid out. He has singer, songwriter, musician, all in his bio. Bro, just say I make music. I think that sounds so much more, I make music. That's so much more simple. Or even just songwriter. Also, you got your age in your bio. Nobody care about the year you was born. You got 09 in your 06, 04, like bro, take that out your bio. Also, and it's gonna sound bad, y'all got all these dead people in your bio. Like long live them, I swear. Long live them, all respect to them. And may their soul rest in peace, but Got long live KJ and CJ and MJ. All these people in your bio. She just might think you into the wrong things. You feel me? It's about the energy you give off and the energy you present yourself with. And while it does show honor and appreciation, sometimes it could just scream bad energy. Then y'all be having y'all area code in y'all bio. Y'all be having y'all friends name in y'all bio. All of that is unnecessary. Nobody cared that you from the 411. Like I promise, nobody, nobody cares. She does not care. And stop with the gank. 4K train in your bio, you are not gang affiliate. Why do you got 4K train in your bio? Why do you got OTF in your bio? Like these are the little things, like just change this. My next point is why is your account private? Like let's say you meet a girl in person, right? She give you her Instagram, you go follow her. Your Instagram private, she's not gonna follow you back. I'm telling you now, she's not gonna follow you back. Or you like two pictures on her gram. She's not gonna follow you back if your page is private. She don't want you to know she's looking at your Instagram. Her having to request to follow you is immediately going to tell you exactly when she's looking at your Instagram. Why would she want that? Think about that. Just sit there, think about what I just said, let it cook. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll also be following more people than followers you have. Like you follow 5,000 people with 500 followers. You just follow anybody. Like at that point, she's just gonna be like, damn, like he follow all these, especially if it's all these girls, she like, Oh, he just must do this with every girl. He just follow all these girls. Like, keep it to a minimum. Small circle, your friend group. That's how many people you should follow. A couple celebrities here and there. That's cool. 5,000 people is nuts. Like, that is insane. That's nasty work. Na nasty work. But you also don't need to be one of them people with hella emojis in your bio. It's not sixth grade anymore. You don't need the gun emoji, the wet emoji, the 100 emoji. I hate when I see people bios and they got the 100 emoji in their bio. Instantly, she gonna view you as a cornball. Like you think I'm playing, she's gonna view you as a cornball. I know what I'm talking about. Then you got zero post up, or if you do got post up, it's your prom post, like from 2018. Like bro, prom cool, homecoming cool. Don them don't need to be the only pictures on your Instagram, or you got car pics up, or you only got pics with your friends. It just screams very unorganized. Girl, been like very well put together, very organized men. So you can have a beach picture here and then pictures of you on an airplane or something, and then you playing basketball, and then you at prom, like, get it. Like, that's cool, but make that a highlight or something. You got all these different activities, like, what am I looking at, a, a brochure? Like, a travel guide? Like, what is this? Like, I'm not saying you need hella pictures, just a few pictures of yourself. And lastly, you should have no videos on your main feed. Remove them from your profile grid. 
and just have them show up in your reels leave them there i'm giving you a real game like i'm not even trying to be funny y'all face these little things and y'all will see a increase i promise so if you got any of the stuff i just said your ig is cooked but anyways, that's the end of the video. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? And obviously, I got more videos on the way. If you want me to help you with your IG one-on-one, make sure you share this video with a friend. And after you do, comment IG on this video in your favorite color. So I know you watch to the very end. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace.